Hi, this is Maria with Wings as Eagles. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you like what we're going to be working on today. Just grab your favorite papers and pens and glues and let's get to work to create something beautiful that can get our minds off of our troubles of these days, especially this week. Um, there's a lot of rioting going on out there. There is a lot of fear and ugly things happening. People are upset. They're sad as if the virus situation wasn't enough. Now we have this to deal with. Um, I hope that by engaging in a little positive activity here with me, you can um, get distracted and find a little joy. These are the papers that I have chosen today. I was inspired by this one page here with the leaves. The colors are beautiful and I found this picture on the right from a used book of photos and I think it goes beautifully with the page with the leaves. Um, you will see that I choose some birds here coming up and they totally do not go with this project but I love that they're gathered together and I would love to fit them in here somehow. This little card says, be happy with those who are happy and weep with those who weep. Romans 12, 15. Very appropriate for this week. I want to let you all know that you're all in my prayers. I pray for everyone, um, especially those who are lacking, those who are in need, those who are afraid, those who are suffering. That's the heart of God. And this is what this, these little birds remind me of. They're together. They, they're they taking care of each other. They rejoice with each other. They mourn with each other. They're together. You know what I mean? So here we are just looking at our previous projects. I'm working on the same book. I am showing you here this left page will be a large envelope. I am going to first be sewing the edges and I will turn it into an envelope by gluing it on that page. And I will be uh, cutting a semicircle on the left side of the envelope to make things easier when we are putting papers in and taking papers out. Here you see how I am planning my layout. I will be also running these edges of these papers under the sewing machine. Here you see I'm using a punch of a circle and all I do is just use half of it to create that semicircle that we're going to have on that side. It's going to be a great big pocket to put in whatever your heart desires. Um, here I am showing you that I have sewn the edges with a zigzag stitch which I love very much and I'm going to show you how nice it looks in contrast with the white thread, the black background, how beautiful that contrast is. I'm using pH neutral PVA that I found on Amazon. It's for perfect for book binding. I happen to to like this glue a lot. It seems to be pretty strong and <clears throat> dries moderately quickly, not super quick, so it's great for me. It gives me a chance to move the papers around to get them right where I want them. So um, I am getting ready to ink the edges to give them a pop. I like to highlight things and I'm using the Distress Oxide ink from uh, Tim Holtz. Most of you probably are familiar with his products. They're pretty great and I should have highlighted the envelope before I sewed it but I didn't think about it so just something for you to learn. I'm still obsessed with these birds but they are not going to make the cut I'm afraid. They are so cute but that blue is just throwing my project off. I like this picture of these ladies. They look a little concerned, not concerned, they just look a little somber but I think it fits the theme perfectly because it looks like they could um, be weeping together. You know, they like they're together supporting each other. And I really love that. Plus, I find it to be a beautiful painting. I like this one as well, but I think the colors are too bright for my project. And I decided to go with the first picture. You also see I have these pictures of photographs or um, that I have chosen because the colors are so beautiful together and I'm planning on using the left one as a floating uh, card and this one I will be putting on the right pocket and the 
oh, I'm still looking at my birds. I'm just obsessed. They're too cute, but they're not going to make it, unfortunately. Uh, this card, I plan doing something different with it later. And you see that I'm just laying my elements down to see what it's going to be like. I am going to score some um, cardstock because I want to create a folding card. And you see that I am scoring it to create a nice crisp fold with my bone folder. I'm pressing on it. It helps so that the cardstock does not crack. I am here going to play with my card with collage, my favorite things. I'm using the a piece of material that's very stretchy and it gives me a little bit of a hard time. I use the leaf pattern from the left side of the project as a, a complementary piece to the picture that I'm going to lay. But I'm going to sandwich that piece of material in between first. I want to remind you friends that John 15 13 says that Jesus laid down his life for his friends. And that was so much love right there that he showed. And the least we can do, I think, is to, you know, to weep with our friends and rejoice with our friends. I'm showing you the stitches here that I have used zigzag on the very edge of the card. I like the kind of finished edge. Uh, sometimes, like in this one, I uh, do the stitches a little uh, inward a little more. So it leaves like a frame on the outside. I have also sewn this card and I'm rounding the edges. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight them again with Tim Holtz Vintage Photo, the um, what is called Distress Oxide. And uh, I think it just goes very well with this project that almost looks a bit vintage-y. I am showing you how I sewed around these little elements on the card itself. And here I'm showing you again, the very edge of this card has been sewn. I have added extra black material to fit the piece better. I was having a hard time with a little bit of material. I'm rounding the corners and highlighting the edges as well, again, to complement the whole project so it all unifies. I decided around now, I decided that I could turn this into a mini booklet type of thingy. And so I'm gluing the, the image on this, uh, only part of it on the left side, so that I can then crease that, that page, that image as you see there, and turn it into a little booklet. And I just love that idea, and it's, it's nice when that happens, you have an idea for a project, and you're fixated on that, and all of a sudden, your mind just takes a different turn, and, and beautiful things can happen, different unique things happen, so I am loving how this looks, and it turns out to be one of my favorite cards in the project, so there I'm showing you my elements, and I'm inserting my large card in my big envelope, that's my floating card, and I am trying to figure out how to lay these other cards inside this right pocket. At this point, I want to remind you that God is close to the brokenhearted. That's what Psalm 34, 18 says. That is very reassuring. God cares for us, and as such, we must care for each other as well. I am showing you a ribbon here that I thought of choosing perhaps as a tie for one of the cards, and I'm showing you some stickers from Paper Studio I'm not quite sure where I got that one of the craft stores, Michael's or Hobby Lobby, and try to figure out how to use those pearls. You'll see um, here I am attaching the bow to this card. I found this little black bow, and I think it's just perfect, just neat and little. This is art glitter, a glue that um, it, a lot of crafters have been using apparently. And I like it okay, but it dries super fast. So, so I prefer a glue that dries, takes longer to dry. As I was saying, um, remember that God is close to the broken hearted. And if you have your heart broken right now with everything that's going on, grab a hold of that word. God cares for you. Jesus loves you so much. He, He's there weeping with you, just like a friend. And he's more than that. He's your savior and our father in heaven. So what a wonderful word of um, encouragement, comfort, and peace in these moments. So I did not like how those pearls looked on this card. I was trying to line them up. 
on this booklet rather and so I'm trying to figure out what to put there I have this little little um, embellishment uh, it's a bread but I'm not liking it the colors go but I don't like like it at all how it fits the piece so then I decided to grab a sequin a little heart and put it on a little piece of paper in the shape of a heart and how fitting for today's theme, uh, Ephesians 5 1 says, Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children, and walk in love, as Christ also had loved us and had given himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling savor. I sure hope I pronounced that last word correctly, but our Father God wants us to walk in love like Jesus did and take care of people as much as we can everywhere we see a need that we can meet. We should be more than willing to do so. Just like the Lord, you know, that, that sacrificed his life for us and that became a sweet offering to the Father. And so I want to be that for my father as well. I want to be obedient to him. I want to walk in love so that when he looks at me, you know, he's proud of me and that what I can give to him is pleasing and a sweet fragrance for sure, for sure. So I encourage you guys, walk in love, help those around you. At these times, there's a lot of people with a lot of needs and um, do what you can you know, you will be rewarded for it. And so back to our project, here you see a beautiful bow that came actually around the bottle of one of my favorite perfumes. And of course, you have to reuse things, right? Especially this cute bow that fits perfectly, I think, in my opinion anyway, with this project. It's just so delicate and sweet. And you see that I am cutting the part that um, was attached to the bottle from the back of the bow because I don't need that. It's going to create extra bulk that I don't need. And I am going to add it to the top left corner. And the heart goes on top of that. And I just happen to absolutely love the look of this. That was the perfect complement to that card. I'm using Fabri-Tac, as you see there, to glue. Uh, the bow because Fabri-Tac is used for textiles, but I think um, you can use PVA glue and I've heard it works just as well. So it's up to you. I think Fabri-Tac is also pricier. So I am loving what I'm seeing and um, I am going to now glue my little heart on top of the bow. And I think that just adds the last touch to this cute little booklet that we've created here. I don't love a lot of bling in my stuff, so I find that these little, um, I forgot the name already, sequins, yes. These little sequins, little stickers, little, little things, embellishments like that with a little bling, just a little bit, for me is enough and adds a special touch especially to this piece. What I'm doing right now is I'm going to add a tie to my card here. As you see, I'm just punching a hole, nothing super fancy. I find that this project is so pretty, uh, vintage kind of in a way, maybe what, I don't know, elegant, I don't know what to call it. And I'm more of a, a relaxed, more rustic type of person. But I love this look as well. I just don't dress like this or my house doesn't look like this really. But I thought I would use to contrast a piece of cheesecloth. That's what I have used right here as a tie for the top of my card. Now I'm playing with the ribbon I showed you earlier. It's got gold hearts on it. It's very pretty and it would fit with this piece. Uh, I'm playing around with my little card, see where I place it, the card with our verse for today, Romans 12, 15, to remind you, be happy with those who are happy and weep with those who weep. And I have found this sweet little flower, and I'm showing you how the middle, the seeds are very thick, they're raised. And what that's going to do is going to give your book some bulking. If you don't like that, do not use a three-dimensional object. 
I don't care. Sometimes the fatter the book, the better. And plus, this little flower here happens to match almost perfectly with the flowers on that image of the card on the left. I really like the looks of it. There, I'm showing you that. And so I'm going to use some matte medium to glue this because I happen to use it for painting a lot and I know it's a strong glue. So that's what I'm using for this little flower and we're going to be done with our project. I just thank you so much guys for being here for watching this. I hope you enjoy it. Please be safe out there. I'm praying for you guys. God loves you. You guys be blessed. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.